and welcome to another episode of The Adventures of the Wind Swift. Now, our uh, crew had managed to split themselves into three and one, and one is not in a very good place. To bring us up to speed, Dice of Destiny says it is, in actual fact, Mutaru himself who needs to give us the uh, <laughs> recap of just where and what is happening. Well, um, from where I am currently, things are speeding past at a very accelerated rate. Mutaru finds himself ab uh, aboard the very, very quickly descending ship that had attacked them uh, in previous adventures. Uh, three captains, uh, claiming to be from the Order of the Anchor, attacked the Windswift, and after a harrowing battle, both ships are beginning a very rapid descent back to terra firma. Uh, I, however, happen to be on the more quickly accelerating one, uh, as my Naginata, through no one's particular fault, was left behind aboard the ship. Thus, Mutaru has leapt across the, the threshold of death and is once again uh, thinking of a million different ways to apologize to Rowan when he will inevitably see him. Uh, in the meantime, however, everyone else is safely aboard. Well, I say safely very operatively. They are aboard the Windswift, uh, which is also struggling to try and maintain an altitude, at least enough, to get to a nearby city to hopefully, uh, well, repair it and make sure it doesn't, you know, explode and all those other things. <laughs> so, uh, with any luck, we'll uh, we'll see if I live. I'll live. Send me your energy. Put it into my dice. And there we go. So that brings us to the um, hail Mary moment, which uh, Graham. Would you make an attack roll, if you please? If you're there. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. Oh, my internet connection is apparently unstable. You're back. You're back. Hello. That was strange. I don't know why I did that. Um, because I saw Mike freeze and everyone else start freezing. Like I think I think Mike's frozen. Nope, it's me. Um. <clears throat> well, okay. There I go. Please, please catch this cow. Oh, wow. That's a natural 18, so that's going to be 24. All right. You fire the ballista at the retreating form of the uh, poor stricken ship the Mutaro is on, and the bolt sails through the air and thuds into the back of the ship. Uh, please roll your damage. Mr. Grimm. <laughs> <laughs> well, his internet is unstable again. <laughs> I believe Guy, you so. can also just roll the damage, I guess. I will do so whilst we wait for Graham to return from the land of uh, Perfect, Perfect freeze frame. Yeah, Perfect freeze frame. I'm rolling. Oh, uh, oh there he is. He's dropped he's, out. Well, he he's going to come back. That's okay, he'll come back. Great gunner pose. <laughs> yeah. All right. The blast uh, rips into the hull of... Uh, I'll wait for him to... Join us again. I I I I rolled the damage. Oh yes. Yeah, it was. Um, uh, well, I I I have a ten and the nine, and then I just one, two, three, four, five, six. So the rest of the boat that you were sitting on, <laughs> yes. to shoot it's twenty-eight damage. All right. So the blast from the ballista rips deeply into the hull of the ship and um, the ship just starts to break up around it. Um, Mutaru, give me a dexterity, uh, give me an uh, acrobatics check, please, to jump onto the rope, assuming that that's what you're, you've got to get your Naganati oh. free first. I do have to get my Naganati free. Yeah, strength check. <laughs> uh, so strength check. Oh. Natural 20! Natural 20. Yes! All right. Whoever, whoever was giving me their good energy, you rock, you're awesome. There Don't you go. Him. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> With Naginata in hand, you realize you are plunging towards Mindley Bay at a speed of oh. over 300 yes. feet per round. Okay, um, rather than using an acrobatics check to try and get across, what I would like to do is simply place one hand firmly around the uh, the rope attached to the ballista. Right. And use my Naginata to cut the rope, uh, obviously under where my hand is, to separate All the... Right. Uh, <laughs> The sinking vessel and swing down. <laughs> All right, so that's still an acrobatics check, if you please, to be able to hold on, rope it, cut it, slice it, dice it. Uh, okay, well, that's, 
That's 17. 17 but is I have fine. No bonus. That's right. Yes. You're holding on to it. Con, would you please give me a piloting check as uh, the uh, ship is descending? 15. 15. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move into a skill challenge, which we haven't done for quite some oh. time here, in order to see if you can get anywhere close to Theban. So. Oh, and, and, guys, I was, I was wondering if I could, because um, like, as I was making the shot, I was going to make one last command to my other gunner, if yes, you could. Yes. Yes. If you can, please shoot down the skiff. <laughs> Roger that. A ballista bolt sails out from yep. the side of the windswift and with a roll of 17 slams into the little skiff. Aww, yeah! bye -bye. <laughs> the skiff has uh, exactly Die! 30 hit points. I will roll them now. Uh, ooh, shibbit. Okay, so that's 11. Oh, yes. Bye. Yes. Yes. And 19 is 30. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as this bolt just slams into the middle of the skiff and it just breaks in half. And just bodies fly out in all different directions as this mess just... No revenge for you or... Got some of that. Uh, um, did I again? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you. Ah, uh, I said but, no revenge story for you, Orc. Yeah, there, there was lots of rage there. Um, all right, so we are into a uh, skill challenge check, uh, which means that anyone can make these rolls. It doesn't matter who's making them, but once you've made a roll, you cannot do so again until everyone else has made a roll as well. Uh, success uh, leads to the successful outcome. Failure leads to a failed outcome. Um, and so, I would ask one of the four of you to please give me a survival check. Tom? I guess that shall be me. You survive. God survive. Wow. Uh, 21. 21. All right. So you need four successes before three failures if you are to make it to Theban. And that was a success. Now, from someone other than Con, I need a pilot to check, please. Can that be done with intelligence? Uh, I yes. think it's a sailor, right? Is that the sailor thing that we spoke about? Is that the... I mean, that's what I wanted to check. It's out. a sailor skill, correct? Yes, and uh, I, I thought that could be done with intelligence. Yeah. I just wanted to check. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, then I go for it. I, do you want me? All right. Sure. Darn! I don't know what's going on, on my internet right now. I'm having too much fun. That's why. That's why it's it doesn't like you right now. <clears throat> My, uh, and is it just a straight intelligence roll? Straight role, right? intelligence. Plus proficiency right. if it's Sailor, right? We're all proficient in Sailor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, ew. That's 14. 14 is a failure. One failure, yeah. one success. Right, from anybody, well, basically from Michael or from Simon, I need a navigation check, please. That's also a skill that falls under Sailor if you don't have it. I mean, like, I, how sorry, do we do this? Can you, up. like, narration-wise, how would how, how would we participate in this? Um, <laughs> I'll build the story around how the results are. Okay, I mm. see, I see, I see. Um, yeah, Michael, do you want it? Or? Um, yeah, sure. I, I'll give it a go. Okay. Um, I don't have any bonuses to it, but <laughs> why not? Yeah, just the proficiency. So yeah, there you go. I I, I assume that I climbed back on under deck at some point. No, no, no. Still hanging below. The whole idea right, of the, I guess the, I'll navigate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go. try to hit this rock. <laughs> Low bridge. Left, Low left, bridge. left, left. <laughs> okay, uh, 15 plus my proficiency of 2 is 17. Okay, so that's a success. Two successes, one failure. Now, that means from Simon, I need an insight check, please. Oh. Oh, thank God he didn't ask me. I am actually proficient in this. Nice. <laughs> I roll a natural one. Oh, no. Oh. What? You did? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's what it's for. Oh, no. All right. Okay. So two failures, two successes. That brings us back to anybody, man. Now, roll. I need a nature check, please. Oh, that's definitely gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, oh, crap. I'll throw my dice off them. All right. <laughs> One more failure, uh, and Theban is off the cards. Wait. 
Thank Naturally, you, I got a failure? 17. 17 is a success. All right, three successes, two failures. You need one more success to succeed or one more failure to fail. That brings so us. who's got to roll the dice of destiny? That yeah. brings us back to the top. So anybody except for Con may give me an Arcan check, if you please. I actually am proficient, I think. I'm not. I am not, actually. Never mind. But I do have a plus three to it. All right. I am not. I'm not proficient with Arcana. <laughs> He's uh, Mutaro, not smart. <laughs> this okay. Here we go. No pressure. Nope. We failed. That was a seven. I have ten. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a complete failure, right? This is like nearly a success. Yeah. I went by. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the net result is for the next hour. You struggle with the ship, trying to get as much altitude underneath her hull as possible so that you can travel the 10 miles to Theban. Uh, sorry, not the 10 miles, the 50 miles to Theban. Um, unfortunately, there are crosswinds that rip into the side of the uh, ship. Courses that you choose, you think it's going to give you an updraft, actually because of its dense snow it acts as a sink and pulls the ship down harder and faster than you would want it to a wind pushes you to the left a wind pushes you back the runes themselves critical ones have been damaged and as much as you and the crew rally together to pull mutaro back onto the ship to keep the ship going the engineers burning as much magical units as they can to give you as much speed as they can whilst you're going down. The ship comes the flap down. Flap is fully extended. <laughs> Your flap is <laughs> extended and rigid, and um, I'm flipping through the tome with frustration. <laughs> Damn it! Stop giving me names. Give me instructions. <laughs> Even all with all hands of that, prepare for ditching. You uh, yeah. manage to clear the. Um, the Kush, the Great Kush Mountains, and will come down <laughs> in the middle of Ooh. the uh, Aki Sadab Desert. You will be about 40 miles south of Theban. Uh, the ship comes down. You've got her under control, so it's not impossible. Uh, she slams, however, into the sand. It's, it's There's just no way to make it soft. She slams into the sand and digs this large furrow as the sand basically oh, oh. smooths out the lower decking and she comes to a grinding dust bellowing stop. What is immediately apparent is the exact shift from ice and glacier to desert and heat. It's a dry baking heat such that when you s inhale it feels as if your nostrils are drying out almost instantly and your lips start to swell and crack from the extreme shift in temperature. There is a silent moment as everything comes to a creaking rest. So I didn't catch that entirely. So from the 50 miles we were away from the city, how many, how many are we still away? 40. Okay. During, during that little quiet moment we have as like we hear the gentle breeze and the sand shifting, you just hear a Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like raising himself out of an impression in the dirt that is Mutaru shaped, because uh, being under the ship when it when it sort of went down. <laughs> Why? Why? You know. Chung Chung Dai, Badlands there, Badlands there, Badlands there, Badlands there. This place, ice here, fire here. Make up its stupid mind. I sort of <laughs> run to catch up with him. I very slowly let go of the wheel, look around for a bit, looking very dazed and vague and dismayed. And the first crew member I sort of latch eyes onto, I go, Lieutenant Most of the crew. Lieutenant? Muster the crew. Search all decks. Secure all casualties. All right. Everyone is is wounded in some shape or form uh, yep. from from the impact or from the combat that you've had. Uh, the crew very slowly make their way up onto deck. Um, I make for the medical bay to get all the medical supplies that I can get my hands on. Pull them up onto the deck. Right. Um, <laughs> in the medical. I get a little boy to help me. 
in the medical bay, uh, as you are, are uh, rummaging around, you hear loud snoring coming from one of the uh, bunks. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot about the prisoner. No, he's not a prisoner. Who is it? <laughs> oh, the captain of I walk up to him and sort of shake him. <laughs> That's a really loud snoring little boy. This, uh... The all captain? Small hand oh. comes out and slaps at the shaking. And then Sorry's head pops up. Oh, sorry. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. What's with all the shaking? Can't you see we're sleeping? Uh, you slept through all of that? All of what? Uh, we just had a battle in the sky with another ship and crashed. Why didn't you wake me? <laughs> to be honest, I'm, it wasn't top of my mind. I, 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 like, again, amazed you slept through it. Anyway, we've crashed in the desert. We're 45 miles from... Oh, God, what's going on? Theban? We're 40 miles from somewhere, and... Crew are hurt. We, well, I can help. Give me a hand with these. Yes, sure. Please help me get all the medical supplies on board, and then I was ensuring wait. that Caglor was okay. It was a medical uh, procedure. Yes, right. Yes, as a doctor, I can see how that would be. Yes, therapeutic. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. I try and wake him again. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get him up. Um, but um, yeah, you should right. go and you see. You, yeah. You sort him out, get him outside. Gotcha. And then I start piling things into <laughs> bags and like basically I'm trying to empty my medical bay into bags. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh let's go around the table. So Blackson, what are you doing? <clears throat> I as I said, I want to secure the prisoner. Uh-huh. Um I wouldn't have uh, when she put her in the cell. Mm. Um aside from fairly little clothing mm. what else did she had on her body uh gold bracelets uh gold bangles around her ankles uh fairly uh, ornate lapis lazuli blue earrings um and this rather striking silver chain pendant with a crystal star on the bottom on yeah it. she doesn't have that any on her anymore mm. uh instead i throw her some clothing uh sure she should cover herself up by and the then, smell of it we have arrived in my home country oh. great I don't care <laughs> putting her stuff in a bag sure uh, and just sitting next on on the outside of the cell right. and just waiting for the other captains to sort sort things out okay Grim yeah I'm, I'm uh, immediately finding going for Blackston, the prisoner. Sure. So. Mutaru? Uh, still slowly walking through the hot desert. To oh, yeah, yeah. You, you weren't that far. Uh, yeah. as, I, as I do so, I compose a haiku. The Sajet Desert. Burning sands inside my pants. Mutaru is sad. <laughs> Maybe and, not uh, the greatest haiku in the world, but an accurate yeah. one nonetheless. Mm. An observant one, and uh, uh, I'll I'll check the condition of the skiff uh, and see if it survived the uh, the landing. All right, skiff is it looks like it's okay, a uh, bit banged up, some fire damage, but uh, otherwise it seems it seems good. The main ship itself, however, it has this massive rent in the side of it, uh, which is is it, it looks like a great big gash has been hacked, burnt out of it. I'll tenderly sort of um, run my hand along it like I'm like a, a person observing like a giant wounded animal. Right. Um, you know, sort of with affection, you know, like, you know, thanking it for bringing us to the ground safely and with as little death as possible. Uh, as you happen I, to... I not mine. <laughs> yeah. As, you, as you're running your hand along the side of it, you come across Waffen and Qualen Jackenstoke, the uh, engineer and the carpenter standing on the sand looking at the wreckage 
uh, sort of shaking heads, making little notes on paper and that sort of thing. And when they see you, well, uh, the captains are that all of us on deck. Uh, I think he's going to address us. Thank you. Mm. Take care of our friend, yeah? So I tap him on the shoulder. And I'm referring to the ship. Aye, of course. Of course, of bloody course. Uh, Graham, you arrive at Blackston? Right. Blackston, hi. Yes, I see that you have everything in order. Dagger. Dagger. Dagger now, please. That is mine. Thank you. Now, um, no one trusts him with weapons ever again. No. Now, uh, <clears throat> so prisoners in the cell and all that. The doors are locked and all yeah. that. Right. Jeez. Can I have the key? For what? I like to open the door. I, I like to go in. Shouldn't we sort things out first? Oh, don't worry. They'll be here and they'll do their thing. And it's fine. Just, just want. Just give me a second. I'll take the key. And uh, I walk through the door and I, I open it. Then I close the door behind me. You would be unwise to lock yourself in the cell with and me, And lock the prison door man. and keep the key. You don't understand what type of sorcery you're doing. As, as I keep the key, uh, actually, no. I'm going to actually toss it through the doors across the scattering ground. Just, so, I, know, I know this is going to look weird, Blackston, but give me time. I'm I'm going to slowly approach uh the girl. And I'm going to I'm going to take out my rapier. Now you listen closely to me. You're going to tell me everything that you know. And I don't care if I'm locked in here. Because I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. I will be certain to take out every single organ and intestine inside your body slowly until you die and just feel endless pain or we can skip all of that and just have a simple chat I want to know how you know our location I want to know how you know exactly where to go and what your plans are and if you know anything of what's going on with the inside of the orders because everything is fucked everything the system is ruined I don't trust people, but I trust their habits, and habits are broken, and that's not supposed to work. Now, what do you know? She sits back on the little pallet in the cell. We knew where you were because we were given the maps which track the ships of the orders all the ships in the orders are tracked at headquarters yes so that headquarters knows where they are we were given that information are you seeing your order has sent like an, an attack or a warrant for our deaths while they um before we go um yeah. what kind of cells are these is these a cell like this so oh no take no a look? it's got oh, is these, are these like yeah, bars, these are bars, I think, bars. Right? yeah okay because so i, I see all this right yes. so yes. i i see all, okay so that's the first thing yes so while he talks i will not interject here i will however very clearly kind of take a look at her and try to see if she's evasive or whatever right all right, right. Inside. All right. she seems and you can both roll insight checks at this point, please. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest interrogator or intimidator. 22. All right. Well, at least one of you knows what's going on. She, uh, she crosses. Okay, fine. I'll at least attempt. Oh, actually, that's not bad. I rolled 16, but I have minus two, so 14. All right. The new order needs to make an example of the old ways. Right. To show that the old system is broken and doesn't work. So you are right. Everything is broken. But there is a new order being forged. 
one which will ensure our prosperity for all futures to come. Our orders well, were very simple. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You said why were we sent to you? We were sent to you yeah. for a simple reason. What, to you kill have us? stolen something of ours, and we want it oh. back. Oh God! Like, like what? I mean, nice, this is nice. just a mess. I honestly don't care if there's a new order. No offense, Max. This is, this is, I, I don't. I don't care if things are changing. I would like to know things before you come onto our ship, trying to look all, all dainty and and sexual. Which yes, it's worked, but I'm ignoring that, and it's annoying because we're trying to do a job and I'm trying to accomplish my own goals, and yet you are just here going like, oh. I'm going to just kill you since you just... What's going on with this? I've told you. You have stolen something of ours. Oh, uh, great. Well, well, what is it that we stole? Mutaro, what are you doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> climbing up onto, onto deck, um, obviously I see the various injured people yep. uh, gathering up uh, yeah. as per Con's instructions. Uh, I will first of all go and check in with Con and make sure that he's okay and that you know everyone on board, on, on board that was on the damn ship is okay. And I uh, I thank him for for you know uh, the rather you know relatively stable landing given the circumstances. Uh, well, I can you, tell you, you would run into me coming in the opposite direction laden with bags full of medicines and bottles and herbs and things. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll give you a hand with that. I'll pick them up. He is followed oh, by Sori and Kaglin, and uh, Sori steps out on deck. She's like, "Oh my God, it's so hot!" Uh, wait a minute, I've I, I've got a song that will help with this. I, I just need to try and remember it. I have a song too. Let me sing it. Kaglin looks over at you, um, Con. You appear to have broken your ship. Yes. Try not to think about that right now. I sort of briskly start inspecting everyone around. Right, any injuries? Any fatalities? Are we all accounted for? All Lieutenant? Right. <laughs> Lieutenant Ty steps forward. I have done a preliminary investigation of the ship and the chief engineer and I have discussed it. We should have the Windswift back up and in the air in about a week. There is a problem, however supplies correct there is no water on board the ship the fire hit our water stores and did not do them any good that's why it took so long to put it out correct mm. well we can't water. stay in the desert for a week that's not going to work chef says that we've got food for about a week but no more than that yes Matoru um, obviously, growing up in the Badlands, things like water and food and stuff were scarce there as well. Would any of that sort of basic, you know, kind of everyday survival knowledge come into uh, any use here, where, you know, like finding water and stuff in underground reserves or. You can certainly try. Um, you won't have disadvantage to do so. The trick is that the desert is very different from the badlands and the wastelands. Mm. The wastelands have got lots of brackish water, so that, you know it's not that, that that there is no water. It's just very very difficult. Uh, okay, so I'll I'll use survival to try and see if I can think of somewhere where there'd likely be water. Okay, oh, give me a roll. Look, that is an eighteen. All right. Um, so if you head back towards the mountains, you may find some streams and things, but uh, not not a huge amount of water is to be found in this area. Theban is probably built on an oasis. If I am allowed to uh, rest and recover my uh, powers, I may be able to do something about the water situation. Very good, Are sir. There any other, how, any wounded, any casualties? I'll send those along through to you shortly. Mios holds up an arm which has got a bandage around it. It looks broken. Um, so no deaths? No, I am very grateful to inform you that there are no deaths except well, for I one. Well, I call that a win. Oh. 
We cannot find Demesta anyway. Oh? How strange. I don't know this yet. <laughs> we searched her cabin, and apart from a strange yes. amount of ash within it... Ash? Yes, sir. And there was ash. ash, correct. I immediately go to her cabin. I know she's a vampire. Ash, not a good thing. <laughs> no, not a good uh, thing. I'll, um, uh, I'll sort of continue helping the people on the, the deck and help Sori tend to their wounds. All right. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to go and look at the ash. Back to the two of you. Before you go further, um, Guy, I wrote you a little message. I don't know if you read it. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I got that. And uh, she looks at you, Graham. Well, the medallion, of course. You stole it from the ziggurat. Ah, uh, this great upset. Okay. By the way, was that your fault? Our oracle. Did you do that to her? Did what? I don't understand the question. What has happened Demestris to your oracle? Demestris dead. She exploded in a pile of ash. What? Just jump out and run away. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with your oracle's sudden disappearance. Or turning to ash. So Blackstone ran? Yep. We're currently alone? Yep. Oops. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so that's what he was talking about. That elf that we dispatched of, that we spoke to, he mentioned something about, there was a cooperation within the order. At the time, I, did, I couldn't quite connect the dots because no one tells me a fucking thing. Oh, Maybe shit. if you, if you want, I don't know, this, this whole new order thing, I really, I have my own direction, so I don't know. Maybe we can help each other out in this case. What do you want? I think that would be obvious. Release me out into the desert. Hmm. No, the Maybe medallion is of secondary importance to me. I am like you, a survivor. You I am not going way. to die after some little artifact that Lord Zolus lost. That is Zolus. of no interest to me. The elf that you killed in the ziggurat, Lord Zolus, yes. Ah. Uh, I have a few questions before I let you out, though. But so you this will let me out. Well, right now he's he doesn't have the keys, so... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, I do not have the keys. It's fine. I will let you out as soon as I am let out. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll come back to you. Okay, so uh, Mutaru on the deck. Um, you guys are busy going through and sort of trying to bring order to the chaos. Um, Sori is using what little magic she can to repair ro ropes that were ripped in half, uh, some fire damaged wood and that kind of thing. Um, and there's a general hive of activity. Uh, when... Um, it's young um, uh, Verilin uh, Jockenstoke, the uh, boatswain. Uh, she suddenly stands up and she looks over and she looks back at you. Um, excuse me, sir, but do sandstorms usually travel in a straight line? Um, no, I'd say, uh, well, if, if, if they, no, why? Oh, uh, there's one travelling straight towards us. I thought you should know. Uh, I look in the direct. I assume she gestures. Right. She points out I, towards I, the north, and there is this clear line of cloud busy growing as whatever's at the, at causing it is, is moving towards the ship. It's about five miles out. Uh, so well, how long before it gets to us? Yeah, maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Uh, I'll pull up the, the horn. Uh, Captains, we've got a bit of an issue here on deck. We have a sandstorm moving towards us at uh, quite a uh, concerning speed. 
Uh, it seems to almost be directed at us, so uh, if uh, if you guys want to perhaps come and check this out before we uh, maybe perhaps need to find shelter, uh, yeah, that'd be appreciated. Great. Uh, I I, th I threw out I threw out the keys through the door, but yeah. um, could I possibly reach it with my rapier? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you don't hear anything about the sandstorm because there is no speaking horn in the prison. Oh, uh, yes, it's a safety, <laughs> it's a safety <laughs> precaution. Um, so yes, you don't hear that. Um, Con and Simon, you both arrive almost at the same time at Demester's uh, chamber. Yeah. Uh, Blackson is running like with all his all the haste uh, towards the chamber. I mean, I guess that con you arrive like a few mm. seconds before that. I so. Absolutely, the interior of the chamber uh, wasn't touched by fire, and the ex you know the walls are still intact and everything is still good. So it doesn't look like her ashification was because of sunlight suddenly coming in. As a matter of fact, the cloth over the windows is still in place, um, but the room is covered in particulate ash. And there is a strange smell of uh, almost silver, is it? That sort of tingy, tangy, metallic scent uh, in the air. Um, what, what, what happened? I, I, I don't know. I immediately start inspecting the ash. Uh, uh, do I have that any sort of tests in my medical equipment <laughs> that I can sort of figure out if, you know, is this just wood ash? Is it all, you know... Any is there anything I have in my toolkit? <laughs> All right, give me a medicine me? check. <laughs> if, if I talk to Blackston again, this is just like the time of the kids, like you know. Twenty-two. <laughs> okay, Blackston, what are you what are you uh, doing whilst uh, Connor's busy taking samples of ash and dropping it into little glass vials and shaking it and <laughs> running towards the sarcophagus and oh throwing the lid uh, off the lid and seeing searching for Demestra. Okay. Uh, Con, you determine that this is the remains of Demestra. Um, there's no doubt about it. This is organic uh, in nature. Blackstone, as you sw um, pull open the lid of the coffin, um, the interior is empty, but you catch a glimpse on the, r on the interior of the roof of the, the, the lid. Of the coffin. Down the air. Yeah. On the underside. Someone has scratched into the wood a word or a name and has done so with quite a lot of haste because the nails are still stuck in the wood from where it's been scratched. Uh, there isn't any blood there, but there is bits of grey flesh, which would be indicative of Demester. The name that is written there, I will give it to you right now. It is, I'll give you the spelling. A G one word B A E G Anyone Ak -bear? Yeah. Anyone may make any does anyone speak dwarvish out of the two of you? B A E G, uh, right? Akbeg? Yes. Neither of you speak Rahbeg. dwarvish. Rahbeg. Correct. Uh you can give me a religion check. Uh yeah. Nine. Nine? <laughs> no. Uh, 14. At the mention of Agbeg, Con, you remember there is the most holy of holy cities for the dwarves is known as Agbeg, which, if you spelt hmm. it out, was Agbeg. But Agbeg is a dwarvish uh, monastery city. Um... It, uh, Valenhold is the religious capital of the world. Achbeich is uh, the dwarvish religious capital of the world. The dwarvish priests of the highest order are very seclusionist, and Achbeich is almost as far south as you can get within the dwarvish territories. Uh, very isolated. Ach You're muted. In a sort of puzzled voice, I, I give him the bullet points of, of all of that, essentially, and then sort of vaguely almost to myself going, what on earth would that connection be to as, here? As, as you kind of pick up on this, Laxon snaps around, grabs at you on your shoulders. What what happened? What does this mean? Where's, where's the Mestra? Muses. Dude, I, your I, microphone. Yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> I think I think she's dead. Uh, what? I think my tests indicate that this ash is very likely to be her. But 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 can can vampires? She isn't. What? I don't. I don't know. My medical knowledge doesn't extend very far to the undead. Um, we need to find out. Who knows? We. It, it must have been the attackers. They must have had some secret weapon, like they're teleporting bombs. I, 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 no, no, no. Who knows? Where's sh- somebody needs to? Somebody has to know. We need no to find one out. No know what's happened to us. Yes, I know. Come, come, my friend. Let's lock this up. We need to. Uh, we need to attend to our crew. Back to you, Graham. Um, still having the rapier out, trying to reach the key. <laughs> You're like, I can reach the damn key. Give me a uh, an acrobatics check, please. Um, ooh, not bad. That is uh, seventeen. Seventeen. All right. You managed to slide the key onto the yeah. tip of the rapier. She steps up behind you. Oh no, no! You back off. Are you being serious about releasing me if I give you more information? Yes, that's why I'm grabbing the key, but I'm not dumb enough just to, like, have you sneak up on me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a pro. You don't sneak up on me. I sneak up on you. That's my job. You will release me unharmed. Yes. And you will not send your companions after me either. No, but what I can guarantee is at least a really good head start. I will take that. All right. Very well. Then this is the name you are looking for. Rax Dracari. That Let me is write this the name in of my the magic new notes. order. Rax Dracari. Rax and Dracari. Oh, Dracari. I mean, what, what, what are you... Like what? What are you all about? Like honestly, the the reason for this historic business, I'm I'm here to gather information for my own goals, because I know at the end of all this, I will find my own destruction, not by any one person or god will stop me. Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. Rax Dracari is the order that will be placed over the three orders. Why do we destroy artifacts of the dragons? They are powerful. Why do we hide away from the dragons? We should be looking to master the dragons, not to run away from them. The ice elves knew of a way, but they did not use it correctly. Rax Drakari will. We will unlock the secrets of the dragons, and when we do, there will be no stopping us. So, my friend, I, I put for, like, it world to domination. A world that is under control by the Rex Dracari is a world at peace. A world that does not cower in fear of those stupid lizards. It is a world in charge of its own destiny. <laughs> I can see you are a smart man. He, he does start chuckling at this, like... Oh, you can change the world as much as you want. No matter what, you can never run from fear. It's fine. Do as you wish. And and I will start, like, unlocking the door. We could make use of someone with your skills and talents. I think, at the moment... Well, if, if you think of it this way, I'll be a second pair of eyes within this place. At least for now. I will stay with whoever will benefit me the most. At the moment. I'll Very keep my good. eyes open. Now, and I take out my dagger and I stab myself in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> now, pretty lady, you have a head start. I have to cover myself up, you know? I understand. I would have gone for a nick on the forehead, but stabbing is good. Uh, can, I, can I have your hand for a second? Come here. Just, just give me your hand. She holds out her delicate hand to you. I... Momentarily, I turn over and give it a soft kiss on the back of the hand. 
turn it back and I sprinkle a little bit of my blood on it. I'm just like, go, go and be, be merry, be free. You have two minutes to get out. <clears throat> and on that Size of the <laughs> <laughs> and on that note we will catch up with all of you again next week when the plot thickens even more as we sit out under the baking sun of the desert right stay with us for the review oh wow interesting twist and turn from destroying her to saving her I really don't know which way this party is going to swing Right, number two, Simon, we start with you. <laughs> Recovery, survival, betrayal, so many things. Death of Demesta. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> and Demesta was cool. Well, Blackstone caught this woman to get information. And. He was willing to let Graham interrogate her, how he see fit, at least to a certain point. Mm. But as he learned of that the master was missing, his focus obviously changed, and he had to find out what happened there. And right now, he's not sure what he is supposed to do, and he has his mind elsewhere. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Con? Strike was nice. Con is Con is operating by the book right now because the rest of Con has gone to hide out somewhere in a corner and try not to think about the epic failure he has made of uh, things and the consequential wrecking of the prized vessel. Uh, this above all else is is catastrophically unacceptable for for yes. uh, for Con. Uh, so he's falling back on see to the crew, follow crash procedures, follow the book, but when he runs out of bandages, th wounds to bandage and poultices to apply and stuff, he's probably going to go down a bottle of brandy somewhere in a corner quietly. Nice. Nice. His, us his usual sedative. Uh, Mutaru, not much going on, just recovery, survival. Yeah, yeah, I think Mutaro uh, had a nice easy one for this one. Uh, obviously, a uh, really tense start, obviously, with the uh, the escape from the um, crashing uh, anchor vessel. But um, but beyond that, I was kind of like, you know, um, especially with the trial and with the last few weeks being very kind of, you know, heavy towards that, I, I was happy to kind of um, ride it out and sort of just see where everyone wanted to go, especially Graham. I swear to God, man. Fine. What did I do? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, no, I, something that I probably should have mentioned is, um, on the one hand, this absolutely kind of moves Blackson, obviously, but on the other hand, go, getting away from that scene gave him also the opportunity to do things that probably wouldn't have happened otherwise, mm -hmm. right? Just mm, clandestine things that some of the players may know but but the audience will have to watch the season one to figure out and see if yeah. they can catch on to things so uh so yeah this stuff uh but yeah no i i did like it there's a lot of intrigue in today's game um it did seem like a lot of uh, a very quiet one but i think uh i think that worked for literally just how fast paced everything was i think everyone kind of needed that uh today's to sort of but now we're now we've got a quest now we've got a a few tasks obviously get water for the ship uh obviously there's there's this due to be escape of the uh uh the the, the Sijet prisoner and uh of course our continued major exploit of finding out uh obviously now we got a name the uh the what's it called the rector car nah, I, I will we don't you. have that name man. <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 as in, I say, I say operative. The we, as in the proverbial we, uh, and that's kind of interesting too, because um, uh, if I know guy, uh, that that's a very draconic name I hear. And I mean, I mean, oh, and this is this is uh, advice for players. As, uh, and sorry, people out there in in internet land, uh, if you haven't got if you haven't got a chance to bug bug guy about the campaign setting, right? Find out as much as you can because it's a really rich. <laughs> An awesome campaign setting that he shares in tiny bits, and we keep trying to bug him into making something comprehensive for people. Just Leave a comment amazing. in the YouTube channel 
Leave a comment. Demand it. You know, yeah. just keep. Yeah, because you must know that he has far too much time on his hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simon, you that's kind of it, jumped guy. in Make there. The yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's what I said. Like, yeah. the character wanted to do this because of the things I mentioned. But as a player, it also made sense to leave the scene to give uh, Freddy more freedom in what he wanted mm. to do, per mm. possibly, and just gave gave that scene more. Um, space to develop. Absolutely, um, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and and Freddie, if you're there, I see you frozen again. <laughs> no, no, Freddie's gone. All right. So anyway, thank you very much for watching again. Are oh, you back, Freddie? You back? You back? You back? Your parting shots. Yep, right parting here. thoughts. Parting. Am thoughts. I frozen? Now? Yeah, no, you, you were. Okay. I'm back. I was about to leave. We started. All right. Parting oh, thoughts. Geez. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I definitely liked this session. I liked how there was a little bit of progression there. Um, I, I was finally like able to see an opportunity for, like I'm 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 basically trying to be like a person that sits by the sidelines to see which one is going to win, and uh, that's what I'm basically going for because you know one could potentially overrule all the rest, and I'll just go with them. It's just I I don't have any attachments to really anybody. I have a goal. I'm gonna get there, and I'm gonna get it done. No matter if the world burns behind me, wow! No matter what, as I well, said, no, no person or or god or demon or whatever it is will stop me. Won't stop you from your your, your quest. Well, let's see how that ends. She's, she's going the, to die. Uh, I'll find her. <laughs> the journey. Until we return, I am relocating to Japan. So, if there is a brief break in between episodes, please understand that I have moved to the other side of the planet and hopefully got away from yep. this infernal heat. But we will continue to do our best to bring you more episodes. Of the adventures of the Windswift when we come back. See you again. Thanks. Goodbye.